Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back, and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Hey, it's Taurus. It's Dana. How the heck are y'all doing? How is the bull tribe how's the bull tribe making it these days huh times are tough y'all holy schmoly times are tough things are so expensive it's just like off the hook crazy something's got to give here man something's got to give but other than that other than the collective pain that most of us share how the heck are you doing i hope life is treating you kindly, that you're well fed and well housed and snuggly, Taurus. So let's do some cards. Let's just do a little little, little read for Taurus. Just a little, little extra. What do they call it on YouTube? A bonus read, I guess? Let's do a, a bonus read for Taurus, all right? Let's see what the cards have to say for you guys today. For us, for me, I'm a Taurus sun. Pisces moon, Pisces rising, Pisces Venus, Taurus sun. But let's just to see what the heck these cards have to say for everybody, all right? If you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. If you're uh, coming back, as always, snuggle up to this table right here and let's see what the heck the universe wants us to know right now, here today, right now, all right? Let's just do a right now kind of reading. I'm feeling right now. All right, so it's going to work like it always works. I'm going to shuffle and pray. I'll lay out at least 15 cards. I'm going to talk about it as a clarify it, sew together story, all right? I am going to confuse the hell out of you for just a good second, but stick with me and I will sew together a story and I'll read it to you. Okay, let's do it. Spirit, Source, Universal Energy. I have the collective of Taurus with me and Taurus wants to know what you know. What do you know about Taurus and what does Taurus need to know and understand about themselves, their lives, and their futures? What is coming towards them? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And how do they navigate the coming situations and circumstances of their lives for their very best and highest good? Please tell me where the stopping point is for Taurus. I will cut three times and I will pull straight from the top. What is coming for Taurus? What's coming down the road for Taurus spirit? What do they need to know and understand? All right, right there feels really good. Let's do it. Let's go. One, two, three. One, two, and three, bottom of the deck, the Ace of Cups, Taurus, holy schmoly. And then the Seven of Cups, Strength in Reverse, and Temperance to the Two of Wands in Reverse and the King of Swords. Interesting. That'll make hella sense to you guys in a minute. Makes sense to me right now, but I'll explain it in a second. So the first card out, Eight of Cups in Reverse. Um, this is emotional hopelessness, emotional abandonment. The Eight, I'm sorry, the Ten of Swords, Betrayal, Deception. Um, it's the end of it, though. The Princess of Cups in Reverse. Prince of Swords to the Sun. So communication that makes you happy perhaps. The Hierophant in reverse, cutting loose of ties, commitments, obligations, a reevaluation of something important, foundational. The Princess of Pentacles in reverse, can't manifest. Ten of Pentacles in reverse in the center of the reading. Ouch! What the hell? And then Death in reverse, resistance to change maybe. Nine of Cups in reverse to the Four of Pentacles, the Lovers in reverse, the Queen of Cups in reverse, the Three of Swords in reverse, the High Priestess in reverse, Seven of Wands in reverse, Nine of Wands, the Moon, the Three of Wands, the Six of Cups, 
and the Six of Swords and the Fool in Reverse. All right. And then the Ace of Wands and Justice. Look at that. And the Queen of Swords. Wow. King of Pentacles in Reverse. Empress and the World. All right. Fantastic. Fantastic. Seven of Pentacles in Reverse and the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. And the, okay, so it's just reiteration. All right, all right, all right, all right. I see what I see the story here. I see what's happening. Just let me. Oops, I'm dropping cards here. Just let me clarify uh, what I think I know, but I am more than willing to say whatever these cards are trying to say here. So let's do this. Let's do this. So the Eight of Cups in reverse. The first card out. It sets the tone for everything. So what is this Eight of Cups in Reverse about? All right, Taurus. All right, this is what's going on. All right, this is what's happening. So someone out there is feeling hopeless. Okay, they're feeling hopeless and they're feeling like uh, things are just um, hopeless. All right. The Ten of Swords says that this person's mind, not only are their emotions filled with hopelessness, but their mind is filled with hopelessness too. Okay. The Ten of Swords, excuse me, the Ten of Swords is all about um, crisis. Okay. Crisis, loss, crisis. So someone here is emotionally and mentally overwhelmed about some kind of crisis that they're having in their life, okay? And it has to do with your sense of well-being, as we'll see when we go through the rest of this, okay? Um, this person that this is for is um, thinking about joining forces or going towards something that maybe even out of desperation that is going to make things a little better okay maybe moving in with someone moving back home moving uh getting a roommate moving in with a romantic partner out of desperation instead of choice somebody here is seeking some kind of comfort for their situation from someone else and the high priestess in reverse says in your gut, you have a check in your gut. You do. But there's so much hopelessness and despair and crisis happening for whoever this is for when this happens. Either this is, see, a lot of people think that when they, when they hear my readings that it's happening right now. And that's not necessarily true. Um, this could be a recap of what has happened. This could be happening for you right now, or this could happen six, eight, 10, 12, three months, four months into the future. But it definitely wants you to be aware that this is going to manifest somehow, and this is how you take care of it, okay? So if you were in a state of emotional hopelessness and this reading may or may not be able to help you. Um, if you are in a state of emotional hopelessness and crisis in your life at the moment, this is um, exceptionally important. And those of you who aren't experiencing any of this, be where, be ha have the heads up that um, this could be some kind of foreshadowing, okay? But there's a person here that's in dire straits, all right? And the high priestess in reverse says, you got to check in your gut. You got to check in your gut about what it is that you're thinking about doing to make your situation better, okay? All right. Uh, the princess of cups in reverse. Princess of cups in reverse is about um, a creative block, Okay, so maybe that's where the hopelessness and the despair is coming from. Maybe you can't find a job. Maybe you're self-employed and you're just, you're hustling and hustling, but you just can't get it going on. Like I said in the beginning of all of this, right? Times are tough. They are. Times are tough. Um, and you just can't get it going. You just can't get it going. I also pick up on this Princess of Cups in reverse that if you do this situation over here, um, 
it's going to interfere with your ability to create um, what it is that you're trying to create in your life. Okay? All right. The Prince of Swords. But there is communication that's coming to you that is going to change everything. Okay? Um, it is going to change everything. The Sun. See very, very clearly that the path to happiness, success, and vitality is not making the decision that you got to check in your gut about to join forces with something or someone just yet. Okay? You think it's hopeless, but the Sun says there is hope. Okay, the Sun card says there is hope. Prince of Swords, there's going to be some kind of communication, the Wheel of Fortune, that is going to change the trajectory of everything. It's a turning point. It is divinely orchestrated steps of your path at times, but it's definitely a turning point, okay? And the universe is saying with the Wheel of Fortune and the Sun that this hopelessness over here that you're making some kind of decision about, you don't see what's coming. So if you engage in this, for some reason, you're not going to be able to produce what it is that you need to produce when this turning point happens, all right? The turning point is the Four of Wands. Steady, stable, long-term, safe place, okay? Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords says, be smart about this. All right, be smart about this. Get control of your mind. Why? Because your mind is in the Ten of Swords right there, right? Your mind is in a place of crisis, despair, um, hopelessness. All right, Queen of Swords says, get your mind together. Ace of Pentacles, because there's a new opportunity coming. The Hermit, check in, okay? Check in. Don't go against your gut feelings or your intuition. That is your ancient soul, your ancient soul from back in the day. Same soul that's going to pick up on the other side of all of this when, when you're finished. That same soul is in the hermit, right? It's in the high priestess. It's in the hierophant. It is leading you and guiding you and showing you the best and highest path of your life for your best and highest good, all right? Major Arcana says, check in. Check in, check in, check in. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. The three of cups to the four of cups, no less. What you are trying to justify as a good opportunity justice in reverse is not in your best interest straight up not in your best interest see very very clearly that there is some kind of big huge turning point right around the corner for you and if you join forces with this thing right here it's going to interfere in this turning point it's not in your best interest don't deny your intuition okay and then we have the Hierophant in reverse. <clears throat> the Hierophant in reverse, okay? Do not make a commitment to this situation. No matter what you do, it's not in your best interest. Do not commit to it, all right? Uh, Ten of Wands in reverse talks about taking on too much, okay? Taking on too much. Don't commit to it. Taking on too much to the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands says, just like that Prince of Swords, there is some kind of message or information that is um, going to change everything. And it's going to be very quick, too, okay? It's going to be a quick change. So Taurus is up here all in despair, but what they don't see is that there's some kind of communication that's coming into their life that is going to change the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, your financial situation. Judgment says use discerning judgment, right? Make good decisions. Don't do something out of desperation. And my God, don't ignore your intuition. If you have a check about this situation that you're thinking about getting into, these cards are confirming that check, okay? The lovers, your situation is, um, there is better for you than this, okay? The lovers represents um, change. It's Gemini, right? So change. It represents um, 
frequency. It represents who you attract into your life. And judgment says that there is a much better opportunity in your near future. Ten of Pentacles, that's going to change your financial situation. Two of Wands in reverse, you don't see it coming. Two of Cups in reverse, don't make the mistake of taking this unviable situation or relationship into your future. Princess of Pentacles in reverse, you can't manifest here. Um, it might be affixed to a short-term situation, but you can't manifest here. To the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse says, upset in the home, the family, the finances. Whatever this is, whatever this is for you, is no good, all right? Ten of Pentacles in reverse in the center of the reading to the Page of Swords. It's all about to change, Taurus. It's all about to change. Death in reverse says you need to do some inner purging. Nine of Cups in reverse about your emotional disgruntledness right now. Eight of Pentacles talks about um, working, keeping, keep going, keep working, keep pushing forward, don't give up. It might be bad right now. Maybe you're broke. Maybe you don't have money to take care of shit. But don't make a decision out of desperation. Keep working hard at what it is that you're trying to create in your life and don't give up. Death, because there is an ending to everything and a massive transformation that's about to take place in your life. To the Ten of Swords in reverse, you got to change your mind. you got to change your mind. You have to stop with the Ten of Swords up there, even if there is crisis happening, even if it is a shit show right now. You have to change your mindset from an overwhelmed giving up mindset to a perseverance pushing forward um, I have faith kind of mindset all right four of pentacles everything's gonna be just fine everything's gonna be fine you're going to be fine everything's going to be fine temperance temper yourself give the universe a chance to work let them work things out. It's got to be like herding cats, right? I mean, just let them, just give it a chance to work out before you absolutely and completely um, disintegrate, okay? The lovers in reverse. This situation is not a good vibe. It's not. It's not a good vibe. And you can't be productive in your life if you're surrounded by low vibrational bad vibes. The Queen of Cups in reverse, it's its just no good. To the Three of Swords in reverse, come to terms with that. The Three of Swords, the situation is going to cause you grief, okay? Come to terms with yourself with the Three of Swords right there and stop ignoring your intuition again, second time with the High Priestess in reverse. Prioritize what we're saying because your sense of well-being is going to balance out, okay? Don't ignore your intuition with the High Priestess in reverse to the Nine of Swords, right? Because of your anxiety. Don't let your mind and your anxiety and your current situation get the best of you right now. All right. Even if you got to live in your fucking car for a minute, don't get into a committed situation with this huge check in your gut. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Seven of wands in reverse. Um, overwhelmed. Giving up. Nine of Wands says, no, 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 no. You fight. You fight against the Five of Pentacles. You fight against the lack mentality. You fight against your feelings of insecurity. You fight against the feelings of being left out in the cold. Again, I go back to homelessness for some reason. Um, yeah, fight against it. Okay, the moon, the big, huge, gigantic internal struggle that you're having that you're having right now between that what you know to be the truth and that what you don't really want to be the truth. What you know to be the truth is that this isn't a good situation for you. But what you don't want to accept is the truth is that this isn't a good situation because you feel like you have no other choice. Knight of Pentacles says, slow down, just slow down and wait for a second. Three of wands, it's coming. Get ready, prepare, it's coming. The six of cups um, to the six of swords. So double sixes right there and the fool in reverse. 
So what you think is going to give you the warm fuzzies and comfort of the Six of Cups. Six of Swords says leave that thought behind you, the fool in reverse, because it's foolish. Why? The Ace of Wands and justice. There is a new thing that is going to pop for you, Taurus, and it's in your best interest. Queen of Swords to the Two of Cups. See this relationship up here for what it is. King of Pentacles in reverse, because whoever you're getting into cahoots with um, is, is a lot of things. They're domineering, they're controlling, they're egocentric, they're self-centered because I have the King of Wands on re in reverse on the bottom of the deck up there, right? Egocentric, self-centered, controlling, overbearing. Maybe it's just a roommate, right? And you're going to move in together and you're going to find out that this person has a fucking flip out because you don't wash your cup the second you're done with it. And I mean, who can live like that, right? I can't live like that, that's for sure. So this this relationship that you're thinking about engaging in uh, is no. Okay, it's been all over this reading. We could have stopped probably 15 minutes ago, honestly. But I want to tell you what the cards say. So the Empress, uh, pull yourself together, right? Point your mind towards your intuition and act accordingly. Do what your intuition is telling you and absolutely nothing else. That's the Empress. She is the Empress because she comes from Lesson 1 and 2. She's Lesson 3. Lesson 1 is what you think about comes about, right? And if you're stuck in this Ten of Swords and you don't see a way out and you're consumed with some kind of crisis, uh, focusing on it um, as a crisis procures more crisis, okay? Her intuition, she follows without question. Your intuition in this reading is saying that you have a check against this, but you think that it is something that you have to do, I think. And the world, the world says stop. Close this cycle down. There is a brand new cycle about to open up in your life. Don't give up. 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 Perhaps this world card and the Wheel of Fortune and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse all over this reading, um, maybe it is a global kind of thing, okay? Don't give up. Things are about to change, all right? I thought this King of Wands was on the bottom of the deck, but he's right here in my hand. So King of Wands in reverse. You're not going to like this. It's a bad thing. Don't make a flesh decision, okay? Again, with the Two of Pentacles, everything's going to balance out. Three of Cups in reverse. You don't need this situation or there's more working pieces to this situation than you realize. Two of Swords in reverse, blinded crossroads, Seven of Pentacles in reverse, a lack of success. If you keep doing what you've always done, you're going to continue to get what you've always gotten. Maybe this is a cycle for you. Maybe every time you feel like you can't make it, you latch on to someone. Stop. Ace of Pentacles, there's new opportunities. And the Prince of Wands, there's new opportunities. And again, there's messages of inspiration that are coming towards you, the Ace of Cups. And it is, um, it's the opposite of that Eight of Cups over there, right? It's like, oh, thank God, brand new, brand new breath, brand new opportunity. <sighs> Okay, to the Seven of Cups, but you're, you're consumed by the worry and the confusion because obviously you don't see it coming, right? And it's, it's a weakness for you. It's, it's a weakness to the whole program, right? You have to overcome and not succumb. Temperance again, calm down. The Two of Pentacles in, I'm sorry, the Two of Wands in reverse. Your worry about what the future brings. King of Swords, you need to, to, to manifest what you want the future to bring because right now you're manifesting the Ten of Swords and the Nine of Swords and you're ignoring your intuition about something, okay? So you need to stop that. You need to focus on what you do want to happen in your life, what you do want to be in your life and start focusing your attention on that instead of focusing your attention on what you don't want, which is the lack mentality of the Five of Pentacles, right? What you don't want is to be the Five of Pentacles. And the more you focus on what you don't want, the more what you don't want comes into your life. So get your mind straight. It's all over this reading. Get your mind straight, have your eyes on the prize, and keep manifesting through your thought life 
into your reality, right? And it's not just thinking about it. I mean, you've got to do things. The Eight of Pentacles was around here somewhere, right? You have to actually do things. You can't just think about things, okay? But get your mind in the game. And whatever you do, do not engage in this situation up here because you don't know what's coming and what's coming is going to change everything. There you go, Taurus. I hope that helps someone. Read my book. Who do you think you are? You can get it on Amazon and you can get a bootleg audio version of it on Gumroad. Links in the description box below. If you need your cards read, hit me up at thepathofpurpose.org. Namaste.